the service. Welcome to the Tuesday Memorial. Please take your seats.
very welcome to the National Memorial Arboretum and to the special 50th anniversary service of remembrance. We meet in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father. Grace and mercy be with you. And also with you. We have come here today to remember before God members of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers who have lost their lives on operations, in service, and those lost on the mainland due to acts of terrorism since the 23rd of April, 1968. Let us stand as we worship God and we sing together, I vow to thee, my country. standing for the act of remembrance and the reading of the names. Let us remember before God and commend to his safekeeping those members of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers who have lost their lives on operations, in service and those lost on the mainland due to acts of terrorism those whom we loved, those whom we knew, and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of the peoples of the world. Today we remember Lieutenant Colonel J. Blackstock, MBE, W01AW Raymond, Lance Corporal AD Jeffs, Major GE Hudson, MC, Fusilier AJ Forsyke, Fusilier D. Hope, Lance Corporal N. Hogg. Major J.J.E. Snow, Lieutenant R.A. Scrag, Fusilier M. Kelleher, Fusilier T. Thomas, Fusilier K. Hannon, Fusilier A.B. Diggers, Lance Corporal J. Davis, Fusilier A.S. Brown. Corporal D. Nappy, Fusilier C.J. Merchant, Fusilier G. H. Wenlock, Corporal C. Gordon, Lance Corporal J. McCann, Fusilier J. Hines, Fusilier Francis, Fusilier M.J.F. 
Sampson. Fuselier, J.D. Duncan. Fuselier, P.L. McDonald. Fuselier, K.J. Rollins. Fuselier, R. Pringle. Corporal J. Jameson. Corporal D. Trainer. Fuselier, B. Laboratory. J. Whiteman. Fuselier, G. A. Vanderbur. Fuselier, W. Gibson. Fuselier, D. E. Shields. Fuselier, G. W. Foxall. Captain, Fuselier, S. Lightfoot. Corporal, M. O. B. Calendar. Sergeant R. Sweet. W. O. Y. A. Z. Dickett. C. K. R. Fuselier R. A. Lipton. Fuselier K. Leach. Fuselier A. J. Thompson. Fuselier S. T. Satchel. W. O. 2. A. L. Goods. going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. From whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life. Hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Amen. Please do be seated. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <coughs> Amen. My text for this short address comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and at the first verse. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. When I look back on my army career, it feels as if I am inextricably linked in some small way to the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. When I was an officer cadet at Sandhurst as a Royal Irish Ranger, one of my best friends was Phil Burroughs, who went on to be commissioned into the RRF and who I'm told was once the Colonel of the Regiment's company commander, but who is now one of my chaplain colleagues as Padre at the Defence Academy. I recall too that the sword of honour on my Santer's course was won by James Murray Playfair of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. But more significantly perhaps for today, I feel an inextricable link with your regiment because of the first Gulf War. During the first Gulf War, I was chaplain to the Queen's Own Highlanders in the Gulf when you recall C Company of 3 RRF were caught in a friendly fire incident that led to nine soldiers being killed and 16 wounded. Three of those who died were soldiers from the Queen's Own Highlanders and six from the Fusiliers. A day or two after that terrible incident, the commanding officer of the Queen's Own Highlanders asked me to accompany him to the place where the bombed out warrior vehicles were being guarded by the military police. The vehicles were covered in desert tarpaulins, fenced off by mine tape in an area of the desert. In silence, the CO and I got out of his Land Rover and we walked around the taped off area. And I was thinking, should I say a prayer? But we had just come from a battalion memorial service, so I said nothing. Eventually the CO stopped, he saluted and said, farewell, brave boys. It was a moment I will never forget. The 26th of February 1991, I recall, was a Tuesday. Today we stand before this splendid memorial dedicated to the Royal Regiment of the Fusiliers to remember all those Fusiliers and members of the Fusilier family who died while serving with the regiment from the 23rd of April 1968 to the present day. The 23rd of April 1968 was also a Tuesday. The passage which the Colonel of the Regiment read this morning comes from the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes, which is often regarded as a passage which is suitable for all seasons and all moods. There is a time for everything 
as a season for every activity under heaven. It is all here, that ever-changing kaleidoscope of things that come to us, sometimes unasked and out of our control. Birth, death, war, peace, as well as those moments that we can choose, like moments of silence when any words would be jarring or unhelpful, moments when we must speak since silence would only be defensive or rude. To live life to the full is to face inevitable change. The only thing we can be sure of is that time waits for no man and time never stands still. The Old Testament authors believed that time stretches indelibly into the past and indelibly into the future. But they also believed and held on to the fact that everything happens in God's time and in God's purpose. It was Harry Patch, one of the last survivors of the First World War, who often said, you have to make the most of every day that God gives you. You cannot ask for more. Some of you will be aware of the 2018 Armistice Project called There But Not There by the charity Remembered, which has three very simple aims. The first is to commemorate the fallen through highlighting the sacrifices that they made. Secondly, to educate all generations, particularly today's younger generation. And thirdly, to help heal those suffering from the hidden wounds of post-traumatic stress disorder and other lasting legacies of combat. It would be my hope and my prayer for the Fusilier family past, present and in the future that our activity today and our act of remembrance at this time, at this place, on this day, Saturday the 14th of July, 2018, may serve to commemorate, commemorate those who we've known, who we've loved, and who we've lost. That this memorial may serve to educate, educate future generations about the service and the sacrifice the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers have made. But also I hope and pray that this place will be a place of healing. Healing for all those who suffer as a result of conflicts past and present. David Childs, the man who founded the National Memorial Arboretum, speaks of an unrepayable debt the unrepayable debt we owe to so many in the act of remembrance. On Remembrance Day each year, we honour the memory of those who were killed by never forgetting them and never forgetting what they were fighting for when they died. Remembering too the work that goes on with the veterans, the wounded and the bereaved as they seek to find their own inner peace and stability in dealing with the lasting scars of war. Today, we have paused to remember, to remember the cost of war and all those who's lost lives in conflicts past and present, ever mindful of those who will face danger in the course of their duty this day. But take a moment to thank God. Thank God for those who serve, and who have served in the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. And as we remember the fallen, let us recall the fact that their debt was paid without complaint. And when words have fallen silent, this stone will shout aloud. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, as this day with solemn thanksgiving, we remember those of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers who have died in the service of their country. We bless you for their sacrifice in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
who laid down his own life for us all. And we ask that your blessing may rest on all who grieve their passing, all who following their example serve your ways of peace for our world, and all who look to this memorial that is dedicated to their memory. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for those who bear arms on the behalf of the nation, especially for all serving members of the regiment, particularly those on operations, that they may have discipline and discernment, courage and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who continue to carry the scars and pain of physical or mental injury, and for all the colleagues and families who have been bereaved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most holy God and Father, hear our prayers for all who strive for peace and all who yearn for justice. Help us who today remember the cost of war to work for a better tomorrow. And as we commend to you lives lost in terror, accident and conflict, bring us all in the end to the peace of your presence. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together the collect for the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. O God, our guide from of old, Grant that wherever thy servants of the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers are called upon to serve, we may follow the example of thy servant St. George, and ever prove steadfast in faith and valiant in battle, through him who is the captain of our salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand as we sing our final hymn and dip it. Save the Queen.
now the final blessing. Go from this place with God's peace. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and in the love of God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those whom you love this day and always. Amen. Get him off more in again. He was best buddies with um, Right, that's fine, yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.